Cowboys take well, on I'm the Packers. Here. I'll let the obnoxious Cowboys um, fan talk. No, nah, uh, Cowboys are favored uh, seven and a half. They should win this game. Um, kudos to the Packers because – they law they you know obviously a Hall of Fame quarterback they mutually parted ways yeah um they the the Packers have a, had two Hall of Fame quarterbacks back to back who played what eighteen to twenty seasons for them yeah. um they replaced them with Jordan Love and it was they they made this pick years ago and everybody was like why the crap do you trade up for a quarterback when you have a Hall of Fame quarterback yeah and then you kept that Hall of Fame quarterback for another two years. And then, like I said, kudos to the Packers because they they took Jordan Love this year. They ran with it, made the playoffs. Yeah, and he got better throughout the year. He did. I think he's going to be okay. Um, I think that I think the Packers are going to be okay. They're they are a very they are the youngest team in the NFL. Yeah. Um, they like I said, they were replacing a Hall of Fame quarterback. Um, but they also have a great coach, Matt Lafleur. He's kind of like the, I think any really quarterback you can put in, he can. He could get the best out of in his scheme, just like with Brock Purdy and Kyle Shanahan. Yeah, I agree. Um, well, yeah. I mean, those were already elite before they even – I mean, if we're just talking in terms of Matt LaFleur, I mean, Rodgers was already going to be, I think uh, – uh, yeah, but in terms of the Packers moved on from Brett Favre, went to Aaron Rodgers, and that's where everybody's saying, oh, the Packers did it again. They went from I think Brett it's a little Favre early to, to say that for Jordan Love at least. Yeah, uh, but they made the playoffs, and yeah. it's kind of hard to tell what you got with the Packers. Like I said, yeah, they beat do. the Lions, yeah. then they beat the Chiefs, and then they lose to the Giants, lose to the Bucks, beat the Panthers by three, and they let the Panthers put 30 on them. Um, which is which is wild. They beat the Vikings and then they barely survived the Bears to get into the playoffs. So, it they're one of those teams. They're young, and I think that's some of it. Is like they can they can go out there and they can do really well. They could go out there and just kind of screw around, and so you really don't know what you're getting with them. At the end of the day, Dallas is a better team. Yeah, they should win this football game, but. I'll, Jesus Christ, who knows? I will say this, as long as, based off what we saw in the regular season, as long as Dallas can stay at home in the playoffs, yeah. they will win. When they go on the road, which because the majority of your losses were on the road. Every loss. Oh, excuse Every me. Every loss was on the road. On, Never lost at home. You're, and you're, when you face good teams on the road, you lost. You're, the t- games you won on the road were against infer- inferior opponents that you should have won, yep. like the Panthers, yep. um, the Commanders. Uh, so as long as the Cowboys can stay at home through the playoffs, they'll be fine. Yeah. Um, Dak is not the MVP. Dak is the MVP of the <laughs> NFL. Uh, I'm taking the Cowboys to win this game. Um, I, Like I said, it's home field. I think if they can continue to do what they do, yeah. they shouldn't lose this game. Um, as long as Dak is okay, yeah. healthy, and not turning the ball over, which he hasn't done this year like he has in years past, right. you'll be fine as long as you stay at home. Cause well, we say that. Here's the thing is people got so enamored by last year and what his interceptions last year. Dak has never – he before last year, him and Patrick Mahomes – were the leaders for not turning the ball over throughout yeah. their career. Mm-hmm. I mean, throughout his career, he's done what he did this year, around yeah. eight to nine interceptions. Yeah. He may have a fumble or two, but last year was an anomaly. And But people don't want to realize – they well, don't want to really want to look that, at that. Though, right, because he plays for the Cowboys. Exactly. If, if you played, put a star on your helmet, you get judged so much differently. But it's like that in every sport, any, any professional sport. You go to the Yankees, you get critiqued. You, yep. I mean – Yeah. But here's the thing: is like they're they're putting. I have no pity for Dak Prescott. He's fine. Yeah. Poor. He's making the money. There's a reason they're held to a higher standard too. Because they're America's team. <laughs> you, you hold America's team to listen, a higher standard. When's the, when's, what's, what's the last year the Cowboys won the Super Bowl? 1996. All right. Um, yes, it is. Here's the thing: Dak Prescott has played the best quarterback play this season you know how if you say that the mvp now is pretty much a quarterback award which it it is is. it's gonna be lamar jackson here's the thing so yesterday i had some different stats to show what what they had um comparing them to each other let me pull it up real quick i sent it to zeb while he's looking that up pull pull it up you realize the panthers made the super bowl 
what have have made the okay. Ball. So Dak versus Lamar, who Lamar's pretty much been crowned the MVP this year. Dak played more he's games. He's a better quarterback. No, nah. Dak joking. played more games, had more total yards. That's including passing yards and Lamar's rushing. So even with what Lamar does rushing the ball, Dak out through him than what he did throwing and rushing. Yeah. More total touchdowns, less turnovers, a higher completion percentage, a higher passer rating, a higher QBR. Okay, so we had all of that. And then this morning, right before we started, I found this one. Lamar Jackson's 2023 season, which they say is an MVP season. 24 touchdowns, 7 interceptions, 3,678 3, passing yards, 72, 67.2% completion percentage. Five rushing touchdowns, 821 rushing yards. Dak Prescott's rookie season, he had 23 touchdowns, four interceptions, more passing yards, a higher completion percentage, more rushing touchdowns in his rookie season. But now when he's having a better season in year eight or nine, and Lamar Jackson just you know won a few games here at the end of the year, he's the MVP. It makes no sense. You know what I kind of last year Jalen Hurts was the best quarterback in the league. He threw twenty five touchdowns, fifteen interceptions. Or no, Dak threw twenty five touchdowns, fifteen interceptions last year. Jalen Hurts comes in this year, does the exact same stat line, and it's not talked about. Last year was Dak is a problem. He's a detriment to the Cowboys. He has a turnover problem. This year, Jalen Hurts. Does the exact same thing and it's ghost quiet. Nobody wants to talk about it. Dak goes out there. He graded out at the quarterback position as the highest graded passer in the National Football League all season long. Lamar Jackson had a few good games at the end of the year. Dak Prescott from game one to game 17 was the most consistent quarterback throughout the entire year. He's the most valuable player. We'll see. I mean, he could win. You never know. No, he's not going to. <clears throat> he sh- he deserves to win though. Yeah. Any I mean, anybody who looks at it from a non-biased te- if you just put the stat lines out there, yeah. and you don't say it's just the best player on the best team. I mean, here's the thing, is Dak did all that. He sat out the, the fourth quarter seven times. <laughs> he didn't play seven quarters of the 17 games yeah. that he played. They were winning so big or in a position where he didn't play seven quarters in games. Yeah. I think you can. I mean, he could have easily stat padded in those games and had 40 touchdowns, 5,000 yards, you know, all yeah. these different I mean, things. You, I don't think you can go wrong with picking Dak or Lamar. I mean, honestly. like I, I, would, I would give it to Christian McCaffrey before I gave it to Lamar. I, like, I look at it from the perspective of, okay, if this player was not on the team, where would the team be? The, the Cowboys would not be where they're at right now without Dak. Yeah. You could say Tyler same, Huntley got the Ravens to the playoffs last year. You could say the same thing about that's how you, that's how you value. McCaffrey to the, the Niners. Yep. Um, I, Tyree really, Kill to the really, Dolphins. Really, Lamar with the Ravens. Yep. I know, you know, what Hunt, Huntley was quarterback for, and again, I, I don't know how many games he was the quarterback for last year. I, I don't follow the NFL as much, but – those three you can't go you couldn't you can't go wrong. Here's like, the thing is like the I get the, it from your perspective as being a Cowboys fan, but as like somebody who has like no dog in the fight, I wouldn't be upset if Dak won it. I wouldn't be upset if uh Lamar won it. Right. I wouldn't be upset if McCaffrey won it. it you know, they're it, all three of deserving. Right, exactly. I sure. But again, but Dak you're, deserves but you're, it the but most. you're looking at it from just a Cowboys. I, no, fan. I'm looking at it from a but strictly it, football perspective. The same way they did it with the Heisman. Do we give it to Michael Penix because he was the best player on one of the best teams? Yeah. Or do you say, all right, this player, even though they didn't win as many games, he had the best season. Yeah. At the position, who we pretty much say this is what the award goes to now. Yeah. Outside of an anomaly like Devontae Smith winning wide receiver, they gave it to Jalen Daniels because he had the best season yeah. of any player in the league mm-hmm. or in college football. Yeah. Dak Prescott had the best season of any player in the league. Yeah. That is the most valuable player. I agree with you. I agree with you. But like I said, I, I, I don't think, I, at least from my view, you and I really, and I also, I, I, I'm not sure when they stop the voting. I'm not sure if it's based on. I don't think you should count. I don't think you should factor in postseason. And right. it should, it should be for for 17 games. Yeah, it should be the regular season because you. I mean, you look at college. Jane, unfortunately, Jaden Daniels didn't play in his bowl game. 
Well, let's just say he won and LSU didn't make it to a bowl game. Right. And But you knew he was the top player in the league or in college football all season, but, you know, Michael Penix made it to right. the postseason. Like, that shouldn't penalize. It, it should be a regular season award. Yeah. For sure. Because people get hot. Like, I mean, look at Joe Flacco when the Ravens exactly. won the Super Bowl. He got hot at the right time and those maybe the last couple games of the season been fed into the playoffs yep. and he earned them that big contract. Um, you know, it, like I said, it should be a regular season award. I agree. It, it should be a regular season award. Dak had the best regular season. They're, and, and they're honestly, not going to give it to him. Here's the thing is he could have thrown for 40 touchdowns. Would you rather Dak win the MVP or the Cowboys win the Super Bowl? Does the Cowboys win the Super Bowl. Right. And Dak has said the same thing. Look, I don't. He, he's already said, I don't care. Don't give me any award. They won the division when he did his interview with um, Aaron Andrews. That was Andrews. all for show. That was all for show. I'm sorry. No, I, no I don't think. Here's the thing. <clears throat> I, hate I, when, I truly don't think that he does anything for show. And here's the other re thing that I hate that they do is like even if Dak had a terrible year, he is so he's judged so unfairly by the media that no matter what he does, he's never given props for it. He can win Walter Payton Man of the Year. They he got booed. He is the only player to get booed walking on the stage for winning Walter Payton Man of the Year, which is what you do in your community and for other people. Well, he, what he's done for suicide awareness, losing <clears throat> his mom, going through, breaking his ankle. Didn't his breaking, brother commit? Didn't he lose no, somebody to suicide? His, his brother committed suicide. Because I think Skip Bayless gave him a heart attack. Yeah. Like, geez. Like, yeah. that was That's that what was I'm saying. Little, it's like there's never rough. any props. No one ever gives him his flowers. But he plays for the Cowboys. Exactly. I mean, that's just... I hate to say it, and I'm not saying you are, but there's a lot of these people who call themselves Cowboys fans that are not Cowboys fans. No. I'm sorry. They're Cowboys fans because of the logo. That's why. Everybody... I've been with them <coughs> since the beginning, and I could send you a picture of me in my Troy Aitman Cowboys jersey when Steve, I was a Steven's little tight. Steven's fandom is like all over the place. He's got a... He's got a, a professional team for each part of the country almost, I feel. No, I don't I don't go past <laughs> Texas. Uh, your, your NBA but teams in Boston. Is, I'm picking uh, the Cowboys to win this game. Yeah, the Cowboys. Um, it should be a fun weekend. If you do believe in the NFL being scripted, there's a lot of games this weekend to kind of fit your narrative between uh, the Cowboys taking on the Packers, Mike McCarthy going taking on his former team. Yeah. Um, in the playoffs, you got Matt Stafford going back to Detroit for the yeah. first time in Detroit's yeah. first playoff game in a long time. Then you got uh, Tyreek Hill going back to Kansas City. So you got a lot of stories this weekend. Yeah, you do. That if you are a script writer, believer, uh, conspiracy theorist, they're kind of <laughs> they're feeding your narrative right yeah, now. Yeah, this is when I start really watching the NFL is playoff time. Yeah, this is the best time. I mean, this is when it's obviously cranked up. Um, so we'll be back next week to – uh, recap these NFL Wild games card. and yep. uh, look forward to the next week. Hopefully, the Cowboys don't cowboy and stumble in the playoffs. And Oof, that'll be a fun episode. We might have to. <laughs> It'll be in, fun either way. Either have, you we might have to me do or I'm getting we, hopped up for. A we run. might have to do an instant reaction if the Cowboys lose this weekend. No, I'll be in uh, the basement that I don't have, so which is pretty much the crawl space. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see you next week. See y'all. Thank you. We will be covering the NFL playoffs for the entirety of the NFL playoff season. If you want to hear our opinions on the games and either me in sadness or talking enjoy. Talking about the Cowboys. Yep. Click the link here. Or if you want to catch our full episodes talking college sports, any other sports other than the NFL, click here.